Yo, View Nation. It's that time of year again. That cold, chilly weather is coming in. If you're interested in something to keep you warm and cozy, then you want to stay tuned and check out this smart space heater I got from Govi, all right? All right. Yo, Skippy, roll that intro. Okay, YouTube, this is your boy, Mark for Loose Cruising Views. Back to get another video. But you know how we do. Before we get started, let's get all that business and politics out of the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe. All right, now that we got all that business and politics out of the way, let's get to the video. Yo, View Nation, it's your man, man, Mark. Back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at a smart space heater from a company called Govi, all right? But you know, before we get started, let's get a few things out of the way. One, I'm not an expert. Two, I'm just a guy who loves taking gadgets. And three, I just like to showcase new products I get right here on the channel, all right? I'm not an expert, I'm just a regular everyday person, all right? So spec junkies out there, don't beat me up down there in the comment section, all right? Right well, down there, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel, all right? Now we get all that out of the way, because them spec junkies be hard on you sometime out there. Y'all, you're supposed to do it like this, supposed to do it like that. But anyway, let's get to this right here, the space heater, man. You know, it's that time of year, that cold, chilly weather coming in. Man, you're going to need something to keep you nice and cozy. And also, you know, keep your, you know, your main, you know, uh, heating and cooling system from uh, doing too much work. So this will this be a good help. This is that uh, Govi Smart Space Heater. It said, bring the warmth to life. All right. Let me see. Let me uh, read off a couple of these specs on this bad boy. It's, uh, it says, smart space heater. Uh, this is a 15 watt PTC ceramic heater. Can instantly heat up and produce hot air in just three seconds. Wow. And equipped with a cross flow fan, cross flow fans, this heater produces gentle and soft warm air that brings a warm and cozy experience. Wow, okay. So, you know, this is what I was reading right here. You can pause this and read it for yourself. But uh, yeah, this is, this, you know, you know, the winter months, man, you know, it's, it's, it's coming quick. You know, it's already what is, you know, October at the time of this video. Man, it's, it's starting to creep in. You got smart controls on here. Uh, like I said, gentle, uh, gentle, even heat stream. And it can be controlled the, the good part about it, the smart part about it, it can be controlled with your smart assistant. See right there on the box? It can be controlled with all your smart assistants, man. Your Google Home and your Alexa. That's one of the main reasons why I got this, I chose this one, because you know, I like I like the smart appliances. All right? I like the smart stuff. All right, let's see what let's see on the back of here. It has voice control timer settings, safety protection, and wireless control. So if I'm not mistaken, if this tips over, it automatically shuts off. So that's like that, you know, that safety feature right there. All right, three second heating, displays, uh, display lock, all that good stuff. So basically, let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of the box. I got a uh, old Milwaukee on deck, right here. See what we got in here. Oh, thanks for choosing Go V. That's pretty. That's a pretty, pretty nice looking touch right there. You see this on the uh, on the box right here. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're thanking you for buying the product. That's all right. That's all right. Let's get this bad boy out of the box. I feel like I got it packed real tight too. Let's see. How do you get this out without tearing something up? Okay, this little foam in here. Lately, this stuff has been packed so good, it's been hard to get the stuff out, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing, I'm not complaining. Let's see if I can get this out without tearing some up. Okay, it's got a handle on here. All right. This is smaller than what I, what I expected, because when you see it on the, on the website, it looks much bigger. All right. First in the box, we got your instruction booklet, and you you definitely want to keep a you know instruction booklet for something like this. Let's see, nothing else in the box but some. Let me move this to the side. Nothing else in the box but some more foam. Toss it to the side. Boy, it's got a lot of stuff on here. What is this? All this? Let's get this plastic off of it. Let's see what is this? Okay, this is uh something that oh this is keeping it from the shipping. Man, they did a good job. They did a very good job. And shipping. Got to give the go be on that. Make sure that stuff it don't come damaged. 
And this is not the first Gold V product that I reviewed. Uh, as you can look back, you know, I might uh, put, a, put a link to a couple of videos I did on some Gold V products. I did, uh, I did their, um, their fan and I did one of their, uh, their lights, their gamer lights, wall lights. You know, they, Gold V has a lot of good stuff, you know. So, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm always, you know, I'm always getting some Gobi stuff. Let's put this to the side. Look like we got to put something together. Yeah, we got a pedestal right here. All right, let's get this stuff out of this plastic. All right, this one part of the pedestal. Let's put that plastic over here. Let's see. Instruction booklet. And put it over there. Anything else in here? Nope. Nothing else in here. So we we'll toss this to the side. Toss that to the side, and we have your pedestal right here. Let's uh, turn this bad boy around. It's a nice thick cable too. It's a nice thick cable right here. Let's turn this bad boy around and see what we're working with. We might have to put it upside down, but I want to show you the unit first. You see the bottom of it right here? We're going to get ready to put the pedestal on there, so you know we can go ahead and do this thing and spin around. See the nice little grill right here? Got your little Govi logo down here at the bottom. Uh, you can see little uh, caution stickers, high temperature keep of uh, electrical cords and curtains, you know, all that good stuff. Trying to warn you about stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at the top of this thing. Before we turn on, before this thing get hot. Let's go ahead and look at the top of this thing. <coughs> you got your uh, power button, timer button. You got a lock button. So, you know, if you got little kitties and everything, you want to, uh, want <coughs> you know, keep them from turning it on and off. You got a lock feature right there. And it looks like it has timers on here too. You see these little LEDs right here to let you know about the timer? It's a, that's a timer button right here. It looks like you say one, two, you can set it for one hour, two hours, four hours, or eight hours. That's pretty cool. And you can see right here it has a little Wi Fi, uh, uh, little LED right here, a little Wi Fi sign. So then you know it connects to the Wi Fi. Also, look like in the back, you have a look like you got a filter. So I wonder if this, could, if this comes off. I'm gonna have to check the, uh, oh yeah, it comes off. Hope oh, I didn't break anything, but yeah, it comes off. So for easy cleaning, just, I guess you would you know, run this, you know, on some warm water or brush it off real good, vacuum real good. <clears throat> Let it make sure it's dried thoroughly. I repeat, if you wash this or you clean this off, make sure you dry it thoroughly before you put it back on the device, all right? Before you, you want to make sure this is dry before you put it back on the on the space heater. But you know, keep it clean, but make sure it's dry before you put it back in because you don't want to, you know, you know, cause no fires or nothing like that. So let's go ahead and put this back back bad boy back in here. Snaps in place. And you see you got your power switch right here on and off. All right. Let's go ahead and get this uh, pedestal on here. Let's see here how we're gonna do this. Okay. Okay. All right, there we go. So that kind of makes it a little bit, uh, a little bit easy, because it kind of shows you that little groove. All right, all right. Let's see if you can see this right here. Hopefully, this doesn't troll us. All right, let's see here. The trick is getting this, getting these on here. Okay, I got one. Well, thought I had one. Nope, don't have it. So we're gonna, you know, pause so I can get this together because this thing is trolling me. So once I get it on, we'll come back and check it out. All right. Okay, View Nation. I finally got this dog on pedestal, on, and you wouldn't, you won't believe what why I was having such a hard time getting this bad boy on. This is what you get for not reading the directions. Had I looked at the quick start guide or the directions or whatever before I got started, I would have known that you have to take get a you know get you a Phillips screwdriver and uh, you have to take these three screw Phillips, you know cross tip screws out and then you, you know, go ahead and put this together, put the pedestal together first, and then you just thread it, thread the um, the cord through the hole and then you place it on there and then you go ahead and put the screws back in there now had you know had i had i just you know took slow down took time i looked at that 
I mean, you know us guys, we don't we don't, we don't like to uh, look at directions, but you know, in this case, it, I had no other cho choice to look at the directions. I was like, wait, what is going on? But see right here in the directions, it's telling you, it's telling you uh, plain and clear. It's telling you uh, first, take those screws out, then you know, put the pencil together, and then thread the, the electrical uh, cord through the hole, and then put the screws back in there. Too easy, too easy. And let me read out some other things on the installation part right here. It says make sure when you when you get ready to connect it to the Wi-Fi, <clears throat> make sure your Wi-Fi signal is strong. And it says only use um, the heater directly into a 120 volt wall outlet. No, do not use extension cords. I repeat, do not use extension cords. You know, they, they say it's something with you know with the current or whatever. Uh, they, you know, uh, this is not the first time I've heard that. You know, space heaters are supposed to be plugged directly into the wall, and they say it's not safe to use um, extension cords with them. You know, I know people do uh, do it all the time, but the, you know, they recommend that you not do that just for safety purposes. But you know, so with that being said, they need to start, you know, you know, uh, sending products with extra long cords so people won't have to use extension cords. You know, just you know. Put a thicker cord on it but anyway let me get out of that right there right there and let's see ensure the plug is from me so the inside outlet yeah we know that uh because uh if it's not it can make calls overheating all right we got that you know place <clears throat> places the uh, place the heater on a firm flat surface uh the and let's see here free from obstructions all that good stuff and turn on the power all right so right now we're gonna get ready to go ahead and uh since i already have the go v app downloaded because i have Tons and tons and tons and tons of Govi products all over the place. From, you know, all strip lights all over the place, smart fan. I mean, and then now a heater. You know, so let's get this started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this bad boy up in the app, and then we'll come back and see how how it works. All right, hold tight. Okay, we're gonna go into the Govi app and add a device. Go up in the top right corner. Hit that plus sign. Scroll down to home appliances, then you'll see the smart heater, the H7130, and that's the one you're going to click on, not the H7131, but the H7130. Click on that, and now it's going to scan for the device. This might take a minute. Okay, it looks like it found the uh, device. I'm going to click it and now it's connecting now it's telling us to short press the uh, power button as long as we see the white button on there uh, on top flashing the power button so we're going to short press that okay and it's done and it looks like uh, Alexa's done found it, so we're going to rename the device. Let's see, let's pick a name. Uh, let's name it the Dragon. All right, once we get that done. All right, now the device is connected to the app. And it also, if I'm not mistaken, yes, it's also connected to uh, Alexa. So it automatically popped up on my uh, cell phone screen showing it is connected. So now let's play with it a little bit. All right. You can turn it off and on. It's, it's telling you a caution that after turning off the, the heater, the fan will continue to run for a period of time in order to release res res residual. Uh, heat and prolong like prolong the lifespan of the heater. Now you see it went off. All right, just click got it. All right, let's try something with, with Alexa and get her to turn it on. Computer, turn on the dragon. Okay. Too easy, too easy, too easy. So you can control it with, with Alexa. Well, let's play with the app a little bit more. I'm going to turn it to medium, or if I want to go, come down here and turn it to oscillate, 
or in it. so now you're seeing it's uh, going back and forth pretty cool pretty cool and you also got high heat so now I have it on high heat let's scroll down to the bottom you can also set temperatures right here and right now it's showing I got it set for I think I think the highest no the highest is 86 so I got it set for 81 just for demonstration purposes and I also have the auto stop on so you know if it reaches this certain temperature it automatically shut off let's go down here you can you can set schedules if you want to or you can get or you can uh, set a timer if you want to and you can even put on do not disturb and or you can pair it with your thermal hydrometer all right and I think this is a cool feature where you know it, it shuts off by itself when it gets to the target uh, target temperature so let's see what the temperature is on here now it's showing 76 so I'm gonna bring it down here so you can see the auto feature so I'm gonna set it down to 74 as you see it tells you that you know about the temperature is lower than the current one do you still want to set it yes and it'll shut off on its own bam you seen it you see it stop oscillating and now it's pretty much stopped producing heat and it's just letting the fan run to cool off the space heater before it completely shuts off bam too easy too easy so you know you don't have to worry about uh you know if it to worry about it keep running and running and running you know you know because it automatically shut off so that's that's a cool feature so you don't like i said you know it's a smart device you don't have to worry about you know watching it all the time and, and doing all this and all that you know it basically you know set it and forget it so let's go back on here and uh let's see here put the target temperature up to 80. all right let's see if it automatically comes back on yep automatically comes back on i set the temperature to 80 and it automatically recognized that i changed the temperature and came back on too easy too easy you know so this thing is kicking out a lot of heat i can really i can feel it it's kicking out a lot of heat and uh, i don't want to get too hot in here so let me go ahead and, uh, and tell my uh alexa to go ahead and turn it off and so we can go ahead and finish out this video all right computer turn off the dragon okay too cool too cool all right let's go back into the office and finish out this video hold tight okay <clears throat> we're back in the studio with the uh govi smart space heater all right so let's do a quick recap on this bad boy basically uh you know it's a smart uh space heater i think it's like about 1500 watt you can control it with your smart assistant like google home or, or alexa or you can also go into the app and go ahead and set timers like one two three four hour what have you and uh, like basically to get the most out of it you, you're going to want to have to download the app yes you can control some of the features up here with the power button right there and you know the lock button and the oscillate button and the timer but you know to get the most out of it you want to make sure you have the, uh, the go v app I mean, it has a nice long cord on it. I think it's a six foot cord. Um, basically, I mean, it's a, it's a space heater, you know, a smart space heater. You know, the, the biggest selling point is that, you know, you can control it with Alexa and you can control it with the app. But uh, I'm overall, I'm, I'm impressed with it. I think this is a pretty good pickup because one is, you know, it's that time of year. It's starting to get cold outside, you know, getting a little chilly. And this will help you know, you know take some of the stress off your uh, your heating system, your home heating and cooling system. You know, just have this bad boy on there, you know, to you know knock off the, you know knock off a little bit of the uh, the chill in certain rooms. All right. But I, and one most important thing is, don't use this with extension cords or surge protectors. It has to be plugged directly into an outlet. So, cause uh, <clears throat> and you also the outlet you have it plugged into when it's uh, running, you know you want to make sure you don't have a lot of devices plugged in there because that could cause a problem and then trip us, uh, you know, and trip a circuit. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to cause any problems like that. So make sure you got a dedicated uh, outlet for it, and you know just just pretty much be careful with it. You know, you know. So I mean, 
it's pretty good. One thing I, I kind of wish it would have had though is a remote control. Even though you can control it with you know with your smart devices, you know sometimes it's good to have that you know you know just just in case to have a little uh, remote control. But you know, and a few other things I wish I wish it had like a digital uh, L LCD screen on here too. Some somewhere they could have like put it down here or you know somewhere on here. You know, it, it would look a little bit better with a, uh, <clears throat> a LCD screen. But <clears throat> well, other than that. It's pretty decent. Like I said, you got your power switch right here. You got a, you know, a vent. You want to make sure you keep clean. And uh, also, when you're putting this together, don't do like I did. Just go ahead and read the directions and make sure you have, you know, a Phillips head screwdriver on there because once you, well, once you get it, you know, you're going to have to put this pedestal together. And you're going to have to take out these three screws right here. And then um, put it once you get them put it back on here then you're going to put them in there and then you'll be good to go but uh like i say you know you know if you're in the market for a, a decent you know smart space heater you know where you can just set it and forget it you know i think this is a good one right here it's a good one you know you could like i say control it with your app so if you forget to turn it off when you leave the house pull out your app and go in the govi app bam bam you're good to go you're good to go all right, all right. If you haven't already, go ahead that like, subscribe, notification bell, so you can notify new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell that friend, tell a friend to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. I appreciate everybody taking out the time, to check out this video, and like I always say, treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people better than you want to be treated. All right. All right. The message for the day is, hmm, work smarter, not harder. All right. Don't don't overcomplicate things, you know. Just you know, don't don't read too much into things. Just work smarter, not harder. All right. That's the message for today. This has been your main man, Mark. Blue screws and views. Talk to Mike, and I'm out. Peace.